the KMNN studios, this is the Kids Morning News Network. Good morning. It's Monday, May 1st, 2024, the 122nd day of the year. Double that and you'll get the number of days left in the year, 244. I'm Alex in the KMNN studio in New York. The 1st of May means different things depending on where you are. In some places, it's a day to celebrate workers, kind of like Labor Day is here in the U.S. In many places, May Day is a time to celebrate the spring season. People might plant a garden or make a wreath from flowers. In some parts of Europe, people traditionally put up a big pole called a maypole. Then they celebrate and dance around it. However you celebrate May Day, the idea is to get outside and enjoy yourself. Woohoo! After school, of course. In the news this morning, the story of a three-year-old girl from North Carolina who told her parents there were monsters in her bedroom. Or, as she put it, monsters in the wall. I don't know about you guys, but my monsters were always in the closet. Except sometimes they hung out under my bed. But this girl, named Sailor, told her folks the monsters were in the wall. Her parents gave her a bottle of monster spray to chase them off, but apparently it didn't help. She complained for months. Finally, Sailor's mom called a beekeeper to investigate some bees outside the house. Guess what the beekeeper found? That's right, a beehive inside the wall. A big one, like 60,000 bees big and 100 pounds of honeycomb. Now the bees, which were honeybees and so they're protected by law, were all safely removed to a new home. The monsters are no longer in Sailor's wall. And as far as I know, nobody was stung. What are you having for breakfast this morning? If you lived in Morocco, say 15,000 years ago, you probably ate nuts, seeds, and grains like oats. That doesn't sound too bad. What you probably didn't eat much of, according to a new study, was meat. The study was published this week. It examined ancient bones and teeth from Stone Age people found in a cave in Morocco, which is in North Africa. Scientists can look at chemicals in the bones and teeth and tell what people ate long ago. They can see if the people ate plants, meat, or fish, and whether their diet was mostly one or the other. Most of the bones in the study showed that the people ate mostly plants. Another study earlier this year found that Stone Age people on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean in Peru also mostly ate plants. People back then didn't have farms as far as we know, but scientists think one reason they may have eaten a lot of plants is because plants were easier to gather than meat. Or to put it another way, you don't have to run out and catch a plant. Or, I don't know, maybe they just liked salad. Um, 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 um. It's riddle time. This sounds sort of related to the last story, but Monday's riddle was, what gets harder to catch the faster you run? Your breath. Today's riddle is, what goes up and down but doesn't move. Mm, What goes up and down, but does not move. Answer on Friday. On this day in 1931, the Empire State Building opened in New York City. 1,454 feet tall, including the antenna, And for the next 40 years, it was the tallest building in the world. Even though it was the first building in the world to be more than 100 floors high, and even though it has more than 2 million square feet of floor space, by comparison, an average house only has about 1,500 square feet, the Empire State Building only took a year to build. Well, 13 months to be exact. This New York City landmark is covered in hundreds of thousands of feet of limestone from Indiana. 
and it has more than 6,500 windows. The Empire State Building has 73 elevators, but you can take the stairs. You'll just have to take 1,860 of them between the lobby and the observation deck. And yes, people do take the stairs. There's a race up them every year. When it was built, the spire, the tall skinny part at the top of the building was meant to be a docking station for airships, blimps. Well, as it turned out, New York was just too windy for that and the building itself sent the wind shooting upward, which made it very hard to dock an airship. In fact, they only even tried it once and everyone realized it wouldn't work. But what would have been the waiting room on the 86th floor is now the famous observatory with its open and very windy outdoor observation deck. Even the Empire State Building should be pretty calm today. Not much wind forecasted outside of the front range of the Rocky Mountains and a little bit in the desert southwest. Should be a rainy day in the middle of the country and on some parts of the East Coast, as well as in the Pacific Northwest. Well, that's the show. Thank you very much for listening. To all you new listeners, welcome. If you like this episode, please like it on your podcast app and subscribe, share, and spread the word about the Kids Morning News Network. Grownups, if you'd like to become a supporter, there's a link in the episode description. I'll be back on Friday. I hope you are too. From the KMNN Newsroom, this is Alex signing off.